good morning all and welcome to the lecture in this class we are going to discuss about concept of policy implementation what is simply policy implementation it is just give effect to a public decision a decision taken by the government or the uh, law or even project by the government so uh, to give effect into the uh, uh, to give uh, to give effect into an action uh, to a project or a, a decision taken by the government is simply policy implementation okay so it is actually the realization of objectives or goals so in to understand the concept of policy implementation we need to understand some theoretical part of policy implementation so in this class we are going to discuss about the co concept of policy implementation its theoretical development its uh, uh, its theoretical uh, development of its models uh, through various stages in a brief lecture okay so the term policy implementation has been defined by many scholars from various perspectives implementation is an important stage of policy making process no doubt it means the execution of the law in which various stakeholders so for the execution of law uh, which needs the uh, engagement of various other stakeholders like organization procedures techniques and all these work together to put policies into effect with a view to attaining policy goals so implementation can be viewed as a process an output and an outcome and it involves a number of actors organizations and techniques of control it is the process of the interactions between setting goals and the actions directed towards achieving them. Simon views implementation as the, as the application of the policy by government administrative machinery in order to achieve the goals. Specifically, policy implementation encompasses the, those actions by public and private individuals that are directed at the achievement of objectives set forth in private. Uh, prior policy decisions the constant element of most cited definitions of implementation is the gap that exists between policy intent outcomes policy intent and outcomes so um, there may be a policy uh, intentions and maybe policy outcomes so what is implementation simply the gap or the distance between the policy intention and the outcomes so implementation studies therefore place emphasis on understanding the success of failure of public policy by elaborating on factors that affect it this concept of implementation helps to draw the attention of policy makers and implementers to study the process that influence and establish the outcome of public policy so when we can say that a policy is success or failure after its implementation only so its success or failure is depend upon whether it is uh, implemented or not so when the implementation is complete or implementation is in process we can assess or monitor the success or failure of that particular policy so Policy implementation is of critical importance to the political system. However, noble, how are noble goals, however, sound the organization system. So no political uh, system can succeed if the implementation doesn't bear relationship to the intentions of, intentions of the policy uh, adopters, the policy makers. So the, um, uh, sorry, the policy adopters. Policy adopters means the beneficiaries of the policy. The implementation aspect is now becoming a concern and key element in the developing strategy. It was during 1960s and 70s 
that a series of studies and reports appeared, including that policy designs should pay attention to the capacity to implement. These studies show that implementation aspect is the most important and yet the most neglected. And there is mystifying neglect of implementation issues by specialists and journalists at several levels. Public implementation, uh, policy implementation as the process of putting policy into effect by public and private individuals is difficult to define. Implementation can be seen essentially in terms of nature and degree of control exercised over the operations of a policy or program or a project. So, um, in 1960s and 70s, uh, a series of studies and reports appeared, including uh, policy design and policy models. Uh, public policy uh, implementation uh, has been uh, theorized uh, based on some studies. Uh, some models were created during this period. So, to before going to the a technical side of public policy implementation, we need to understand the theoretical development or the uh, creation of models during this period, uh, particularly in 1970s and after period is very important in related to the public policy implementation and development of policy implementation as a concept or, a, or its um, theoretical development is very important in this regard. Okay. The first generation study of policy implementation has grown substantially since the seminal book uh, with the introduction of the book implementation, how great expectations in Washington are dashed in Auckland of Pressman and Vidasky was published in 1973. Until the publication of this book, there was a period of academic debate about the meaning of implementation. So, uh, it was a great uh, beginning in relation to the uh, theoretical growth of policy implementation. Another important uh, first generation study was conducted by E. Bardak, uh, the implementation game. The first generation studies, both uh, the uh, books and its uh, debates and its studies, were primarily concerned towards describing numerous barriers to effective policy implementation. However, first generation studies have been criticized for being a theoretical, means it is not purely theoretical. It was not purely theoretical and case spe specific and non cumulative. And theory building was not act at the heart of the first generation research. So they didn't make any theory. That is actual criticism against the first generation studies. So in the second generation, implementation scholars, on the other hand, work for the development of analytical frameworks to guide research on the complex phenomenon of policy implementation. The second generation studies were more concerned with explaining implementation success or failure, whether it is success or failure. That was where they, their major concern and made contributions towards developing analytical frameworks, models to guide research on implementation. So the second generation studies are broadly classified into top down and bottom up approaches of policy implementation. So the major uh, contribution of this Time. The second generation studies uh, was the uh, models of, uh, they created uh, two models and it was, it was top up model and bottom up model of policy implementation. And this period was seemingly marked by the debate that was later dubbed as the top down and bottom up approaches or models of implementation research, implementation studies. Okay, so what are top-down model and top-up model, bottom-up model, top-down model and bottom-up model. So in the top-down model, notable scholars like Meter and Horn, Mansamin and Sabatier illustrated top-down model in explaining implementation. When Meter and Horn top-down model depicts six variables to shape the linkage between policy performance, 
policy and performance, Masamin and Sabatia top-down model involved 16 independent variables in the implementation process. The top-down model of implementation is based on the assumption that the policy contains a clearly defined board's tools for the achievement of course and then uh, the uh, implementation change starting from the highest level policy designers through the lowest level. Actually, the, uh, the policy itself has uh, certain uh, different policy tools and way of implementation. So it is uh, happening every time from the starting of its implementation. And it is going uh, top to the down. So, and then the implementation change starting from the highest level policy designers through the lowest level implementers. So, so in the highest level policy uh, uh, designers means the political decision makers, the, the political system, the legislative uh, uh, body and uh, other related office, highest office, elites, and then the decision going to the uh, downward and where a lot of bureaucrats, officers, administrative system are there and it is going to the uh, down up to the um, uh, people to the uh, bottom, to the uh, ground level. So it is a process from the highest portion to the lowest level. So this starting from top to the down. So it is top down model. And the, in this model, too much emphasis is placed upon the definition of goals by the top rather than war, on the role of workers on the line. So the uh, this approach emphasized uh, more on the goals. So uh, the decision makers, while making decisions, they set a, a, a number of goals for the as the was the target of this policy. And while implementing this, uh, they tries to uh, they try to uh, uh, realize these objectives, these goals. So that is the main concern of the policy makers. So every time they try to uh, follow up this, uh, their targets uh, while implementing, implementation is going uh, through every stages to the down. So that is the major concern by the policy, uh, top-down model policy thinkers. And whereas the bottom-up model, scholars like Elmore, Lipsky emphasized that implementation consists of the everyday problem solving strategies of street level bureaucrats. This approach emphasizes the role of administrators at the local level who are directly involved in the implementation in accordance with their responsibility to accomplish the policy aims and objectives. And it suggests that implementation is best studied by starting at the lowest level of implementation system or chain and moving upward to see where implementation is more successful or less so. So it starts from the bottom to the up position. So when the policy is implemented uh, at the bottom level and to the upward position, so in, in, in a uh, chain where uh, in somewhere the policy implementation how face uh, will may face some issues and to find uh, the issues uh, they can clear it and they can move forward move, uh, move forward and and to the upward position so it is the best way that is a major concern of these thinkers the bottom up advocates make a focus on policy implementers at the local level and it is actively or uh, activity of the bureaucrats in this car connection let's keep came up with the term state level bureaucrats and state that they are the frontline public officials uh, implementing government policies. Uh, Lipsky concept view state level bureaucrats as the real policy makers and enhance the understanding of how discretionary powers and decisions made by policy implementers, implementation, implementers affected successful outcomes. So uh, the, uh, this bottom up, bottom up model uh, demands a a kind of policy implementation from the bottom level. So uh, it is uh, the, uh, the local uh, level administrators like um, village officers, revenue officers, and uh, very day-to-day, uh, -day, uh, very familiar officers who are very familiar with the public and uh, they know the practical knowledge about the problem. So for example, uh, uh, take the case of uh, 
police department. So who is more uh, uh, um, relate with the public? The police, the normal ordinary policemen, uh, police constables, they are dealing the issue normally, but in the uh, IPS level officers, or the top police officers, I, G, D, G, P, like officers, uh, doesn't, uh, many of them have no relationship with the, uh, the um, actual human problems. They, uh, most of the time, they are not uh, concerned about the uh, issues of normal, uh, ordinary citizens, because they are not, uh, supposed to relate with the ordinary persons. So, whereas the uh, ordinary policemen, the constables, police constables, or even SI like officers are uh, they they are regular regular um, day to the day to day affairs are closely related with the ordinary people, very ordinary people. So. That is the difference between the top up model, uh, top down model, and the bottom up model. Okay. So here you can see some characteristics of the top down model and the bottom up model. So in terms of research strategy, uh, top down model is from political decisions to administrative executions. So top down model starting from the political decisions. The political decisions taken by the political uh, leaders, uh, legislative body, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and and to the it going to the uh, hands of the administration uh, or the bureaucrats, and uh, and whereas in the bottom up model, from the individual bureaucrats to the uh, at the local level uh, to the administrative network, so it is going to the upward position. So in go in goal of an goal of analysis, when <clears throat> analyze the implementation or the policy when analyze or implementation strategy or implementation um, uh, level uh, uh, the prediction or policy recommendation is the only way so the uh, at the highest level when a policy is going to be implemented the policy makers have only a prediction it may be a good one it may be a uh, worse one so uh, their prediction is there and they their recommendation how uh, is only there but where is in where are in the case of bottom up model um, they they gives they give description or explanation to the highest official when uh, implementing something implementing some action uh, they take action uh, to in related to a policy or uh, to a law or to a project uh, the local level officers will uh, give report to the highest official as description or uh, explanation so through uh, this is a way of anal analysis in the implementation and uh, character of implementation process when we take uh, it is hierarchical guidance starting from the epidemiological shape starting from the highest level to the uh, lowest strata Whereas in the decent, uh, in the bottom-up model, we can see the decentralized the problem solving. Okay, and uh, what is the underlying model of democracy in both models? Uh, we can see in the top-down model, it is elitist way. And whereas in the bottom-up model, it is participatory way. Uh, or So it is a, a relation with the democratic um, uh, model when we analyze the top uh, top down model and the bottom up model as a reaction to growing uneasiness about the heated debate between top down and bottom up approaches researchers tried to synthesize both approaches this led to the recognition of another model called hybrid model according to the hybrid approach the implementation outcome is influenced by the central and local level of act factors both the top down and bottom up approaches are criticized for the limited explanatory ability of the dynamics of implementation from their uh, respective analytical frameworks the new model combines elements of both sides in order to avoid 
the conceptually weakness of top down and bottom up approaches taking the top down as concerned with the effective policy execution as starting points this approach blended several elements of the bottom up perspectives and of the theories into their models notably such third generation research attempted to bridge the gap between top down and bottom up approaches by incorporating insights of both camps into their theoretical model the goal of third generation research was simply to be more scientific than the previous two in its approach to the study of implementation third generation research attempted to confront directly the conceptual and measurement approaches that have embedded progress in discipline and put emphasis on specific layer hypothesis finding proper operations and producing empirical observation to test the hypothesis so in these circumstances it is clear that the concept of implementation lacks in producing dan theory rather it has been flourished to its present level based on few theoretical models or approaches therefore many scholars of policy implementation now agree that the future phase of research implementation is uh, must must be directed towards the theory of development is is a needed one okay elements in public policy implementation implementation as putting policy into action is a difficult exercise it involves various elements take for example implementing the national health policy uh, required human and financial resources and time scale and the creation of necessary health organization are very necessary elements and here uh, barrett and fudge says that uh, implementation is dependent on what first one knowing what you want to do secondly the availability of the required resources third the ability to marshal and control these resources to achieve the desired end and for if others are to carry out the task communicating what is wanted and control controlling their performance so putting policy into effect involves not the end of policy making but a continuation of policy making by other means all the minimum implementation inputs uh adequate personal and financial resources to implement the policy the administrative capability to achieve the desired policy goals political and judicial support from the legislative executive and judicial wings of the government for successful implementation of policy so we can conclude that an understanding of policy implementation is critical to success of government when policies work the executive means the council of ministers is eager to take the credit when the, when it fail blame can be assigned to an administrative process so merely s green day considers implementation to be a general process of administration action which can be evaluated by measuring program outcomes against policy goals the successful implementation is therefore dependent on inputs output outputs and outcomes inputs means the decisions taken by the implementers to achieve the outcomes that means what happens to the target groups intended to be affected by the policy irrespective of the level of outputs of an implementing organization if the intended effect in the target group is not found something is wrong policy does not implement itself it has to be translated into action okay so these are the references and as some public policy making introduction to the uh, the edition Anisur Rahman Khan, Policy Implementation, Some Aspects and Issues in the Journal Research Gate, and Arkesa Pro and Vice Pro, Public Policy, Formulation, Implementation, and Evaluation. Okay. Go through the text and make a uh, notes on it. Okay. Thank you.